Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of XAUUSD, which is gold, and what to expect from the market this week. In case you're just coming across our videos, you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Now before we get into the business of this video, I'd like to say congratulations to those who took the trade based on our last analysis of gold. When we made that analysis, the market was here. I think here. Um, this was... Okay, I think it was here. Yes, it was here and this was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we did say that in our last analysis, we did say that the market is going to buy a bit although we're expecting it to get to this red horizontal line which is the next resistance region we did say the market is going to buy to this region then it will start selling so um for those who who lost trading um short moves um if you were able to take the trade somewhere around here when um started buying and perhaps close here or those who were able to enter this region or somewhere around here and um close around here you must have made some amount of profit but you know that the big move has not yet happened but if you took that trade you must have made um, a little amount of profit so congratulations on that let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame do you remember um in our last analysis um we saw when gold started buying and we did see that it's going to buy um till it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the monthly time frame we did say that last week that when it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the monthly time frame it's going to start selling and you could see that exactly what happened um although it's the 10 day simple moving average came up in contact with the candlestick earlier than we thought we we're expecting it to happen at this red horizontal lines but it came in earlier than that but we can see the market has start retracing now let me also call our attention to this the market has been selling for quite a while i think it's up to eight months you can see the market has been selling consistently then it got here I remember telling us that the market has made a new low this used to be the previous low that in the past two years and the market broke that region i think that was in the month of september and it sold down here and it made a new low on the daily time frame if you saw it it made a triple bottom you can see that uh, it touched that region, it tested that region three times. You can see that here. Then we say it of certainty, of a certainty that the market is going to buy and it's going to be a huge move. And we could see, we saw that happen um, two weeks ago. So on the monthly time frame, we've seen the market start selling and um, the month of November is still in session. It has not ended. We can see where the market is currently at. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see when we did say the market is going to start selling, started selling, and we can see last week ended as a shooting star, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. You can see that happening here. So this is where we saw the market test this region three times, and we say it's going to go bullish, and that happened two weeks ago. Then last week we said the market is going to sell, and we can see the sell has start happening. So the market closing as a shooting star. And we say that a shooting star is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. And of course, we can see that happening around a resistance region. Then on the daily time frame, you can see the market has started selling and it sold um, down to this region. Um, it just came in contact with the, or let's say it's about to come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame. Let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, you can see here the market has been buying consistently. Um, you can see how it has been moving. Then getting to this region, you saw the market linger a bit. I remember saying in our last analysis that the market could um, range a bit or could move sideways around this region or it could start selling. But of course, we knew it's going to sell or we said it's going to sell, but it could move sideways for a while. And looking at the four hours time frame, we'll see the market um, made a little sideways move because it not start selling immediately. 
it made um, some level of sideways move before it started selling so down here but again and we can see where it is right now so what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about now the four hour time frame um the second to the last candlestick before the close of last week ended as a healthy bearish candle the last candlestick ended as a doji then here we can see the market has made a lower low and a lower high which is a sign that a downtrend has started then look at the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see the market has started selling we can see that on the daily time frame down the weekly time frame the market ended as a shooting star now i remember if you watch our last analysis we did say that when the market gets to this region or let's say um gets to this red horizontal line which we're expecting it to get to that's going to get to the overbought region on the daily time frame you can see that's gotten to the overbought region on the daily time frame before it starts making this um bearish move and we've talked about the market getting to the overbought region start looking out for selling opportunities so the four hours time frame has made um lower low and a lower high the daily time frame has shown that a bearish move has started the weekly time frame has shown us a shooting star which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern putting these facts together we can safely say that the market is going to sell this week that's a fact the market is going to sell this week but how do we expect this to happen now there's a possibility that when the market opens it's going to start selling depending on the selling period that's in the market at the moment could sell immediately there's also a possibility which um, um i tilt more towards this direction that the market when it opens could just uh, make a little sell comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame then buys again and make a double top on the daily time frame before it finally sells i tilt more towards that direction i just say that there's a possibility that the market will sell immediately it opens and there's also another possibility that it's going to just sell a bit come in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the daily time frame then buys again make a double top here on the daily time frame before it finally sells so if that occurs or when that occurs it's going to make the week of the candlestick on the weekly time frame before it finally sells but on the overall we're expecting the market to go bearish this week now how far do we expect this bearish move to go or to get to i'm expecting this bearish move to get to sell to this region when it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame and of course if you look at it on the daily time frame you can also see that that's a resistance region you can see that so i expect it to come in contact to the 10 day simple moving average on on the weekly time frame and that region is a support region it was previously a resistance but it's going to be a support when this market is selling so when that occurs we're still going to observe the market we're going to see a bullish reversal candlestick pattern then we'll go bullish we expect the market to go bullish from there and we expect that um the bullish move should be quite significant because we expect gold to start buying from henceforth so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment and we'll be glad to have a conversation with you like we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you, know, you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purposes it's going to serve you better than risking your hard earned money in something you don't fully understand if you want to register for a complete forex training where we we'll give beginners to advanced classes ebooks and lifetime mentorship check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can register for a complete forex training and if you want to subscribe for a signal service we'll give proper entry stop loss and take profit also check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want the hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you you can find our social media handles in the description of this video so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now